First, the Dutch delegation, I would like to thank you for your kind hospitality. Mette, Felixe, it's wonderful that we are meeting in this part of the world to step up our cooperation on renewable energy and hydrogen. In all my years as Prime Minister, I haven't attended many tripartite business forums. I think this is the first one. And yet, it makes perfect sense to do that in Namibia. Because Namibia, Denmark and the Netherlands should be seeking us out today. Because this event is about acknowledging one simple truth. We all face the same global challenge of creating a clean and sustainable, sustainable energy future. And we are here as three countries with the ambition to be at the forefront of the green energy revolution. That means we must explore new partnerships and forge new alliances that are mutual beneficial, inclusive and particularly sustainable. I'd like to stress that the Netherlands is willing to share its knowledge and expertise. And we're keen to work with you and to learn from you. I've come to beautiful Namibia with several major Dutch players in the hydrogen sector. You've seen some of them already here in front of the room. And believe me, they all feel the same way. Earlier today, we discussed this with the president, and he told me about the enormous potential of green hydrogen here in Namibia. There's no doubt that green hydrogen can boost sustainable domestic development and generate big export earnings for Namibia. It will also create jobs. It will foster knowledge transfer and help tackle climate and energy challenges. For my part, I've told the President about everything we are doing in the Netherlands. Investing in offshore wind energy, hydrogen production and innovation, and infrastructure for storage and transport. In fact, the Netherlands will be the European first country to be ready for large-scale imports of green hydrogen. The Port of Rotterdam expects to be all set by 2025. Well before 2030, we will have an open access hydrogen pipeline system connecting major Dutch industrial centers. And we are working to link up with the rest of Europe too. So Namibia, the Netherlands and Denmark are national partners in a future that has already begun. A future that will benefit people and planet. And not just in our countries, but across our continents. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. I hope you will have a great continuing meeting and I wish you every success in making the green hydrogen future a practical reality. Let me assure you that the Dutch government is ready to help wherever and whenever we can. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and first of all congratulations on all the concrete uh, corporations you have told us about um, today. It's, it is a great pleasure to be here. Uh, today and to visit um, your beautiful country and also to have these concrete reports on how to uh, take the next steps in the green transition. I was just thinking early on today when I visited um, your beautiful independence museum here in, in the capital and where of course I was deeply moved and very inspired by Namibia's long struggle for independence that now there are new challenges in front of you, but this time we share uh, the struggle. And you have come a very long way in a very short time. Uh, and this time we have to move uh, even faster together. Um, of course, climate change is uh, our generation's biggest challenge. In Europe, um, imperialism is once again showing its very ugly head. And across the world, we are standing face to face with a lot of common challenges. Therefore, uh, the green transition is more urgent than ever. But the good news are, and I think this is what you are showing us and the rest of the world today, is that green transition is also an opportunity. And um, green growth should mean new jobs and therefore better lives for the population here in Namibia, but also in, in our countries in, in Europe. I have to say that I am really impressed by Namibia's vision for a green future. 
you are a, a front runner, uh, not only in, in Africa, but also globally. And as we have heard already today, you have some very, very good conditions um, when it comes to, to the green transition. We would like to con contribute. We have a long history on renewables and we are trying already now to uh, build up the next uh, generation. And uh, therefore, I'm very happy that with me today, we have uh, some of our best companies. And uh, this idea of working together, not only two countries, but three countries, could maybe be an example for the rest of, of, of the world. We are also a seafaring nation, and uh, the Danish shipping industry has set a very ambitious new course towards net zero emissions. And uh, therefore, we need um, also to work in, in, in that uh, area. Um, and finally, I would just like to say that um, today I'm not only here on behalf of, of, of Denmark, um, as you know, I'm here with Prime Minister Mark Rutte, and therefore we are also uh, representing an ambition of the European Union to strengthen the relationship and the partnership with the African Union so we can bring our two continents closer together. The area, I think, is which may be the most important area to work very, very close together is on climate change. We know that the consequences are seen here much faster than they will be seen in Europe. You are facing it already. Um, and, and therefore we have to, we have to speed up. I think we now have uh, a good common ground to uh, to continue. And what is this all about? This is about creating a um, greener and a better future, especially for our kids and for our young ones. So con congratulations on the concrete projects, and I look forward to work together with, with uh, all of you. Thank you. I could see here everybody is represented, professors, doctors, developers, lawyers, everybody is here because everybody wants to see Dutch Prime Minister, <laughs> Danish Prime Minister. Now, you, should, you must thank your president who brought them here. It's not me who brought them here. Now, uh, this is uh, it's, it's difficult to speak when everybody wants to go. Nevertheless, I don't, I cannot welcome you to Namibia. You have been welcomed by the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations at the airport. You have been, you have met the President. Spent almost, you can say, you spend the day. You spend the day with Dr. Hage Gottfried Geinbock. The only thing I can say is that I'm fully aware that your visit focus more on green hydrogen energy. But allow me to state that you are not strangers in Namibia's business landscape. Do I need to even mention known brand names? Heineken, Bukert. <laughs> and tourism agencies which found a solid base in Namibia. I trust that they are witnesses to the ease of doing business in Namibia. Right Honorable Prime Ministers, when investors look at investment opportunities, too often one of the determining factors for investment is Namibia's market size. Yet Namibia is a small market. Yes, Namibia is a small market, but what Namibia offers is access to not only to the Namibian market, but to the whole of SADC, as well as to the entire African continent through the African Free Trade Agreement. Namibia not only offers market access, but most importantly, 
Namibia is a country built on a strong democratic fundament, on a strong democratic fundamental views, political stability, good and sound banking system. I saw the, 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 the central bank governor here, and the ability to repatriate your investment. Namibia is also called a country of endless horizon, not just for her beauty, but the endless opportunity she has to offer. Namibia is a country with a huge economic potential for investors in almost all sectors, be they mining, energy, both green and fossil, blue economy, agriculture, skills development, and much more. Right, Honorable Prime Ministers, historic inequality is one of the biggest challenges our country is faced with. Hence, Namibia, through the establishment of the Namibia Investment Promotion Development Board, it, two years ago, is making a conscious effort to increase Sustainable investment opportunities in Namibia. I saw the CEO of that board. By means of sustainable partnership that will yield positive economic results, that will be able to create sustainable jobs, that will improve the lives of thousands of Namibian citizens. I am confident that all business people here today will be able to walk away from this forum with something they will lead to tangible result. I think we have already witnessed that. I also want to reaffirm to you that Namibia welcomes you back at any given time and that the doors of Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board remain open for any future engagements. In conclusion, I wish to thank you and your delegations once again for having come to Namibia and for taking the time to hear and see what Namibian economy has to offer. It is our desire to build on the solid relationship between our two, between our three countries and to harness our collective capabilities to forge a new deal for mutual benefit of our countries and people. I would like also, I would also like to wish you and your delegations a safe journey back home. But it be it to the Netherlands, where I'm coming next, or to Denmark which if I'm in the Netherlands, I can also go to Denmark. Sure. And we look forward to welcoming you back again in Namibia. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you.